Hello beautiful ladies, it's God's Star Anise and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. Today, as you can see, my face isn't finished and that's because I want to do a talk through slash first impression with you guys on some Bobbi Brown products that I recently purchased. I have her stick foundation and the color is 6 golden. And I also purchased her Sheer Finished Press Powder, um, her Nude Finish Illuminating Powder, and her Sheer Finish Loose Powder. It's considered high-end, so yeah, if you're looking for something cheap, don't go to her. Well, my eyes are done, my brows are done, and yeah, I just need to color correct and beat this face. So let's get started and let's see how these goodies. So before I put my foundation on, I'm going to color correct using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and this is medium. And this is the older one. This isn't the newer one. I know she came out with some new packaging. So yeah, let's get rid of these dark circles. So my whole face is corrected. <laughs> now let's get started with the foundation. Ooh. I'll use my pre precision face brush from Bare Minerals. So far, I like the coverage. Ooh, so that is pretty and it's golden. Now I'm not gonna lie, the only reason why I got this foundation is for the illuminating powder. She has this new illuminating powder and I really, 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 really wanted to try it. And I thought, okay, I can't try the powder without putting it on top of her foundation. So yeah, so if you haven't noticed, I go between MAC and Black Opal. Those are my go-to's. Okay, so so far so good. It's like the foundation is just melting onto my face. And then let's get some shape in there because right now I'm looking like my face is super fat. So let's contour. Okay, so now we're going to contour and I'm gonna use another one of her foundations to contour. No, I did not purchase this to contour. Um, this was free from Nordstrom's. They, like if you brought the postcard into the store, you got a free um, foundation stick to match your skin color. And of course, the lady did not give me a color that matched my skin color. She gave me this 6.75, which is golden almond. But yeah, I don't even think I get this dark when I tan. So I said, what the hey, it was free, let me use it as a contour, because can't waste no makeup, just like can't waste no food. So yeah, let's contour using this. And the stick foundation retails for $46. Yeah, like I said, it's a high end. It's not an El Cheapo. Yeah, I'm not doing it super perfect or neat because I have a brush to blend it. Right, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Can you see it? Yeah, this autofocus like sucks sometimes. LA Girl Pro Conceal and the color is medium beige. And I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to blend it in.
so far I like. Then under my eye, I'm going to use the loose powder and the color is golden orange. And this powder, can you see it? This powder retails for $38. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use her Nude Finish Illuminating Powder and this color is golden and this retails for $50. I know, $50. So yeah, this better look, make me look like an ice princess. You see it's got some shimmer in it, really gorgeous. So I don't know if you can tell, but this finishing powder gives me a bit of a glow. Can you see it? It's like my face has a very subtle glow to it. And there is like a, the one in the middle, it is a like glitter, has some, actually the both of the middle colors have some sparkle to it. Let's zoom in. Can you see the glow? See it on that side? So I feel like I'm a little orange, but all of these are golden. So yeah, what the, um, this one's golden orange. Yeah, so it has an orange undertone to it. But yeah, so far I like. I like, I like, I like. So now let's slap the wig on, highlight, and see the finished product. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And this color is Nectar. Might as well use all her products. Okay, so now that my wig is in place, it's time for the lips and I'm going to use my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color platform. Platform on the lips and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss and gild it to go on top of the platform. Okay, so my first impression. The powders, I love the powders. I'm actually like really feeling the Bobbi Brown powder. Um, I use the Sasha Buttercup and the Laura Mercier. The Laura Mercier seems to be a little, not kind of ashy look, not all the way ashy. Really beautiful powder, but the translucent powder is not, you know, so translucent. It is like a white white creamish color and then the Sasha Buttercup powder I like that powder as well I do use that powder but then it tends to be a bit yellow under the eyes and you can really like tell that you have that powder on if that makes any sense on my face um, at least so this powder the golden orange it blends really well with my skin color so there's no like you can't tell that I have powder on. Usually when I do my makeup, you can tell where the powder is, like where the different color powders are, so yeah. Um, as far as the illuminating finishing powder, I like this as well. Now, like I said, it is a bit pricey, $50. For this compact, you get 0.23 ounces, or 6.6 .6 grams of product. 
it is pricey it's considered a high-end though her products but I do like the finish because it gives you a glow all over your face without it looking like you packed on like a highlighter and went crazy so it's a really soft subtle glow but a glow nonetheless and especially spring summertime you want that glow you want to have that gorgeous glow so yes definitely a plus uh, only thing I would say is sign up for the newsletter and check out her website when she's having different promotions. I know she recently had like 15% off if you spent $50 or more or something like that. So I would try to get it when it's on sale and then grab a bunch of stuff, you know, together with it. So, because I don't know, $50 is kind of a lot. I guess I'm an El Cheapo. Yeah, like I like deals, honey. Um... So that would be the only downside to it, but other than that, I do like the finishing powder. Really gorgeous, and it comes in several different shades. I got golden, but I think they have new, they have a darker one than golden. Let me pull it up. Okay, so they have rich, golden, buff, nude, bare, and porcelain so for you brown girls you would probably use buff golden and rich rich is the darkest one that they have but yes really gorgeous different colors to complement your skin tone which is really awesome it's not like it's just a one-stop shop one color that's supposed to match everybody because we all know those don't really match everybody now do they um the foundation i i guess i'll just have to wear it for a little while, uh, wear it for a couple of hours and see how I like it. Um, I'm really, really self-conscious about the dark circles under my eyes, so I feel like you can see them, like it's not as much coverage, and it could be just me because, yeah, it's one of those things that I try to always cover when I do wear makeup, so, I'm not too much sold on the foundation for $46. Um, like I said, let me wear it a little bit and see how I like it by the end of the day. But the powders are really gorgeous. Of course, the shimmer brick, which really wasn't included in the review, but since I used it, might as well. Like, yeah, shimmer brick's awesome. So if you could get your hands on one of those, go for it. Really gorgeous glow, and she stacks colors on top, so your glow like has an array of colors. It's been out for a while, and she has some new ones that are revamped or just like one uh, colors, one solid color. But her products are really, really great. Um, no complaints. If you're willing to spend the money, if you have the money to spend, then a really great product to spend your money on. So this is it, ladies. This is my review slash talk through. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I didn't talk too much. It wasn't too long. I try to make the video short now because I know, like, nobody, I don't know, nobody has 15 minutes to spare for a makeup tutorial. So anyhow, thanks for joining me once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, and if you have any comments, leave them below, nice comments, nothing rude or nasty. And then I'll have a list of the products and the prices in the description box as well. So till next time.